this is my analysis of Ed Sheeran's music video, Drunk. First of all, we'll start by watching the video. The first part I'll be analysing is the camera work used in this music video. First of all, the close-up of the cut used when the writing has that bit over is shown, which is called superimposition. This adds a humorous feel to the music video because the idea of the cat drinking alcohol will be used to target audience. This makes the video down to earth, and some music videos try and add too many things into it to make it appealing, but this is a simple technique which can entertain the audience. The second shot I have used is a point of view shot when Ed Sheeran is looking at the text he has received. This will help the target audience to understand what has happened. His girlfriend has broken up with him because she states, I don't want to see you anymore. This will then allow them, allow them to easily figure out why he is getting drunk. In this two shot, 
This is used after the man on the left takes a picture of Ed Sheeran drinking. This could be interpreted by the target audience as aspects of celebrity life. This is because when you are a celebrity, there are generally couples everywhere, which is the paparazzi. Therefore, that could be the connotation to this scene. The sound. The type of sound used in this music video is diegetic sound. That is the type of sound used throughout the music video, however, at the beginning and at the end of the music video, no sound is used and just action is shown. This type of song is classed as indie pop and folk rock and is a type of song which people would love to dance to. Also, the video is fun and uses humour which makes the song more appealing. Ed Sheeran also uses illustration in this video because when his lyrics states that he wants to get drunk again, it shows him getting drunk. Amplification is also used when he sings the words all by myself. He is shown to be a bed, on the bed by himself when his ex-girlfriend is still going through his mind. There is also use of intertextuality as a Lego house is made in the shape of a heart and is broken. This represents and would remind the audience of Ed Sheeran's other song, Lego House. And these three things that I have mentioned, illustration, amplification, and intertextuality, are some of the features stated in Andrew Goodman's theory. With the editing, here we have uh, a graphic match because on the picture on the left hand side here, the girl is shown to be throwing water, which then cuts to Ed Sheeran over here, with water getting thrown at him. The effect of this is that it allows the audience to know that there is a link between the two of these shots. The second part here is the cat is playing on the controller, but it has been sped up a little using the editing. This again adds a humorous effect to the music video and will help the target audience to construct a narrative and understand that he is so drunk that he is hallucinating. Another type of editing technique used is eyeline match. This shows Ed looking at a glass of beer, which lets the audience know that his drinking amount is increasing. This makes him more relatable to teenagers as they may remember their own experiences. With the mise en scene, um, one of the mise en scene types of mise en scene used is this guitar. This shows that although the focus of the video is Ed Sheeran getting drunk, it still shows him playing his guitar. This shows how much he loves music and cares about it, which makes him a passionate artist. So we have the guitar here, here and here, and this emphasises the point of what. Another part of the music I've seen is Ed Sheeran's casual clothes and the game controller in his hand. If you were looking at this picture uh, ordinarily, he would look like a typical teenage boy and this lets the audience know that he just doesn't take himself seriously. In other videos, other artists may have leather jackets on and be in posh bars, but in this video the bar is in a home and he is not represented as living a rock star life. This will make the target audience relate to him as they will feel just like him. That is one of the ways he is represented as an artist as being relatable. Another part, another one of the types of reason to use is the photographs on the wall. This shows pictures of Ed Sheeran's relationship. The recurring theme in this video is that he is portrayed as being relatable and down to earth because these pictures show a normal relationship and are pictures that every teenage couple would take. For the target audience, the target audience in this video is mostly teenagers as it shows him getting drunk and having a party, which is what teenagers mostly do. This is how the narrative of the storyline story relates to the music video because it represents teenage problems. However, the target audience is also people who like his genre of music, acoustic folk and grime, and partially indie. This particular sound can be classed as indie pop and folk rock, therefore this target audience can also be people who like indie music. The narrative of this video is that Ed has just been dumped by a girl who he really liked by text message. He is hurt and upset and because of that he tries to get drunk in order to make him feel better and to forget about his problems. During this he hallucinates as his cat is talking to him. The video basically shows the process of him trying to feel better by using alcohol. But he's not encouraging alcohol in any way. What he's trying to do is to just narrate his own storyline and show the situations that teenagers go through after they break up and how the process of it is, the type of things that you might think and feel 
but this video is a promotion for alcohol rather than just him telling the story, adding humour, being relatable and how he, and that's the way that he's promoted as an artist. Representation in this video, Ed Sheeran has been represented as a normal teenager. This is because he is getting drunk in the music video because of the problem he is having with his girlfriend. He has just broken up with her and many people tend to use alcohol as a way to try and make them feel better which is what I just tried to do, therefore he is shown to be relatable. The other ways that he is shown to be relatable is the pictures on the wall, like I mentioned before at the beginning of the video. The way that he is dressed, casual clothes, shows that he is down to earth and does not take himself seriously. This type of clothing is a recurring theme in his music videos. At some point of the video, he also has his guitar with him and decides to play. This shows that although the main focus of the video is him getting drunk, and trying to forget about relationship, he still cares about his music. But what we have learned from this video, from this video, not only have we learned the conventions of an indie genre music videos such as guitars and performances and dark colours, and some uncommon conventions which Ed has used such as humour, but we have also learned different types of techniques we can use in our music video, such as superimposition to create humour, a graphic match to create links, the speeding up certain bits to also add humour. We have learned how to represent an artist to be relatable by using musical techniques such as pictures on the wall and the type of clothing used, everyday clothing such as jeans and a jumper rather than fancy clothing. Additionally, in order to convey passion in our video, there can be emphasis on instruments such as guitars. Thank you for listening and watching to my